defense team will try to prevent the hitter from going around the bases back to home plate so that the offense team does not gain score. Now here are four ways to do this. The hitter hits the ball and runs towards first base. A player from the defense team catches that ball and throws it to first base, where an infielder on first base receives the ball. If this first base infielder receives the ball before the running hitter reaches first base, the hitter is judged out by the umpire. This hitter cannot continue playing for the next base and must exit the field. This is called ground out. The umpire, when judging out, should sign by raising one arm in the air. If an infielder near first base catches the ball the hitter hits and reaches to first base before the hitter reaches, the hitter becomes out. This is also called ground out. If the hitter reaches to the base before the infielder on the base receives the ball, the hitter is judged safe by the umpire, then can stay on the base as a runner and can continue playing to go for the next base. The umpire, when judging safe, should sign by spreading both arms out to the side. Once the hitter hits the ball to the fair zone, regardless he becomes out or safe, it is the next hitter's turn to hit. Once all hitters in the team get the turn to hit the ball, the list goes back to the first hitter to hit. This is the appealing excitement of pan hit ball to provide a fair chance for all the players to hit the ball, regardless of skill and experience level. It creates great team spirit. The runner stays on the base until the next hitter hits the ball. When there is a runner on first base as the hitter hits the ball, if the defense team player catches the ball and reaches to second base before the first base runner comes, this runner will become out. The runner also becomes out if the defense team player throws the ball to the infielder on second base before the runner comes. This is force out. Similarly, when there are runners on both first and second bases, it will be out if the hitter hits the ball and defense player catches and throws it back to the catcher before the runner on second base reaches to home plate. The hitter becomes out if defense player directly catches the ball the hitter hits before touching on the ground. This is called fly out. When there is a fly out, the runner has to return to the base where he was originally standing. The runner will become out if the infielder with the ball in hand reaches the base before the runner makes it back. The defense player can make the runner out by touching the runner between the bases with the ball in hand. This is tag out. Once the defense team gets three outs, offense and defense teams switch turns. It is called one inning where both teams get one turn 
in being the offense side. Usually, one game contains three to five innings. You can be flexible on setting your own rule. These are the basic rules of the hand hit ball. You can always be flexible in adjusting the rules depending on the situation so that players can fully enjoy the game. Children will be able to learn through teamwork, cooperating with one another to achieve one goal, and furthermore, social common sense by observing their own set rules for the game. Hand hit ball has excellent features for youth education. First, economical. You can play it with just one soft rubber ball. Second, gender free. There is no hard physical contact, therefore boys and girls can play together. Third, equality. Chances to hit the ball is given to all players equally, so there is always the chance for everybody to be a hero. Now let's play and enjoy.